Salutations, Nick Rikis. Welcome back to another video. And today we are getting into some really awesome FNAF merch news that was announced. One, we are getting brand new plushes. But before we get into this, I need to let you guys know some information uh, about stuff that's going to be uh, upcoming. One, thank you guys so much for 167 subscribers. You guys blow me away. I love you all to bits and pieces. Um,. And yeah, make sure you guys follow the Discord server, link in the description below. And it won't expire this time after 24 hours. This time it is permanent. You can use it whenever you want. But anyways, so we are going to be doing a live stream tomorrow of Mario Kart 8. So I hope you guys can be there. And also I'm going to be live streaming on Twitch. It's either going to be Minecraft or it's either going to be, um, or it's going to be, um, uh, Roblox or one or the other. But I hope you guys can make it to both. Um, the link to my Twitch is in the description below as well. So I hope you guys will be able to uh, show up for that. Anyways, let's get into news that you guys are all here for. Now, two new plushes were announced to the, secur to the security breach wave. And they're both exclusives. So finally we're starting to get our exclusives. So that means a lot of possible new plushies. So this is pretty exciting. Um, so we all know the original wave. Uh... Glamrock Freddy, Glamrock Chica, Roxanne Wolf, Montgomery Gator, Vanny, all them. I ordered all of them except for a few since the websites that I used uh, didn't work in my area, but it, uh, it worked for a lot of people. Uh, so, um, so I thought I'd try, but it just didn't. So I'll just have to buy them in store, which is simple because they're starting to come out now. But we're getting two new exclusives. One was already announced, and you guys probably have already heard of it. Yeah, uh, Freddy Frostbear was given its own plush. As you got, it looks incredible. I love it. A lot of people have been complaining about it, saying it looks so much like Freddy. I'm like, well, what isn't that what it's supposed to look like? It's legit Freddy, just as ice. If you don't expect it to look like the, the if if you're expecting it to look like the first one, then good. If you're not, then. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with you, because it looks exactly the same, just as this, as if it was ice. It looks great. I'm gonna, I guarantee this is gonna be one that I own, because Freddy Frostbear at the moment is my favorite character, and I'm like, I'm gonna have like three of them, and I'm even gonna be making a homemade one soon. So I'll have like a whole Freddy Frostbear army. It'll be awesome. I'm super excited. Let me know what you guys think of Freddy Frostbear in the comments below. And also, if you guys are excited for this. And let me know any pr um, predictions of the other exclusives in the comments below. And also, to which store. Because we still haven't gotten a Toys R Us exclusive yet. Just saying. But this one will be exclusive to Walmart. So if you want to pick this up for yourself, uh, make sure you guys head to your walmart when it is announced right now the date is unclear for both of these plushies i will let you guys know when i hear about it it'll probably announce it on my discord server so even more of a reason to follow yeah to join the server next up we have the security puppet it looks really good it was announced to like today and when i saw it this morning i thought it was fake at first but then i saw puppet steve react to it and i was like this looks so good. It came in the box. I'm like, that's adorable. I am totally buying this plush. And I'm just more than excited for it, like for this plush. And I'm so excited to get it. It looks incredible. Uh, one complaint I have about it is that it probably is going to be made out of the material of the security breach plushies. I'm not going to be getting into that into depth right now because when I get mine, I'll be doing a full on review on it. So there's that but it does look promising right now and it does look really good so you never know and yeah so let, let's just cross our fingers that they never use the material for the security breach ones again because it was a cool thing to try but they definitely made them downgrade but the security puppet looks amazing it looks accurate and also i love the little like the little um like back piece with the pom-pom it looks so awesome and also this time the face mask looks a lot better it looks a lot better than the original puppet i have two ones customized that not look like nightmare on but still the face mask is cool on mine and i did get good ones so i was just lucky uh but i've seen a lot of deformed ones because of that material that they used so it's good that they learned from their mistakes and also i love that they put them in the in um the box that you see them in a pizzeria simulator 
Uh, but that's all the news for today. It was a very short news. But um, since you guys are already here, I'll let you guys know on a little something. Uh, you guys probably have heard of this. I was talking about this yesterday on my... Uh, uh, on my Discord server, I was talking about this. Uh, recently to FNAF AR, they released a new character. Magician Mangle. Finally, Mangle got a new skin. It looks so good, as you guys can see. We were talking about it uh, yesterday on my Discord server when it was released, but I'm super excited. And Funtime Freddy might be coming soon. It just, we don't know when. But this, this skin looks really cool on Mangle. I'm really happy that they did this, and I'm really excited to see more in the future. But that's going to do it for today's video. So make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you guys are new, please consider joining the Nick Kirk family for almost daily gaming content. Let me know what you guys thought about these in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Roll the credits.